I mean, when she's texting this guy all day, every day, she doesn't realize that she just presses send and your phone buzzes? I usually have it on Do Not Disturb or something. I don't let it be loud. Do you guys sleep in different rooms? We sleep in the same bed. You sleep in the same bed? Yeah, we have a queen size bed. Is that like torture for you? Sleeping in the same bed with her every night? We got an email from Janisa. She said asking for a friend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, Neve. And Slick. What's good? I pushed. My name is Janisa, and I'm a freshman at Lynn College in Texas. Never know what I, want to say. I live with three other girls, and I think one of them is being catfished. Wait, hold on. Why? Is she telling all her friends business? Well, she must be worried her friend's getting catfish and she doesn't want to see that happen. Her name is Aubrey. She's been talking to this guy named Brian on Snapchat for a little over two months. What she told me about Brian sounded like she found a really sweet guy. Go hang out my mind. But it's been two months now and they still haven't met. And they live on the same campus. Okay, so wait a second. They so live a hop, skip, and a jump from each other. At the same school. So when I found out that Brian hadn't come to chill with Aubrey yet, I got nosy and began asking more questions. It turns out that they've never video chatted or talked on the phone either. Nah, he's, he's a fishy fish. Aubrey hasn't told anyone about Brian really other than me. I think it's because she might secretly be embarrassed by it. I'm just worried that Aubrey is stuck in this fantasy world and that she's going to eventually be crushed by the truth. I think she doesn't want to be embarrassed. She's been talking to some random person. All right, well, let's call Aubrey's friend, Denisa. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Slick. Nice to meet you. Slick's going to help me out on this episode. Hey, okay, cool. So tell us about Aubrey a little bit and, okay. and how this whole situation came to be. Well, Aubrey had told me that a fine dude had hit her up on Snapchat, and it said that he added her by username. But on her social medias, I don't think she has her Snapchat name on there. So, like, somebody probably gave it to him or something like that. So he hit her up on Snapchat. Does that mean he was sending her pictures? Not selfies. Like, they were Snapchatting, like, the text messages on Snapchat. Uh -huh. Right, but how did she know what he looked like? He posts his pictures on his story. Doesn't he go to the same school as you guys? Yes. Wouldn't yes. Wouldn't you expect to, like, see him around? Yes, because the camp is very small. Right. So. so what's his excuse for never being on campus? He's always going home on the weekends or he's busy with homework. And like, she's very sweet and she tries to like be understanding with him. Like everybody's busy, but like you make time if you want to. Yeah. Right. Brian seems sus. And Aubrey and, and Brian haven't talked on the phone, right? No. Does she even have his number or are they just only Snapchat? He only has his Snapchat. Wow. What do you think Aubrey will say when she finds out that you reached out to us? I feel like she'll be on board, like especially if it's like meeting him. The mystery is, mm -hmm. I feel like, is what's stringing her along. Yeah. All right, so sit tight. Okay. We'll head down there. Okay. And we'll see you soon. All right, we'll be about to pull up on you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Park is about six minutes away. Oh, oh. who's this? That's Courtney. Oh. Shit. What the? F uh oh. Is she trying to say something else? What is she doing? Aubrey, come here, I have to say something. She says she has to say something to you. Aubrey! I don't want you to go to the park and Brian not show up because I'm Brian. So wait, there is no Brian. There's, There's no, no meeting at the park. You're the one we've been Aubrey. messaging with. What the? Oh my God. Uh, I'm sorry the way everything happened. I really have a lot of feelings for you. Like this, all these feelings and stuff are new to me. I didn't know what to do or how to feel. <laughs> wow. You could have told me like we live together. Why would you lie to me though? I was talking to Janisa about how I felt about you and she was basically helping me come up with ideas. She actually created the Brian Snapchat. She did everything. What's confusing to me is like, how does making a, a fake she, dude- I don't know, Janice was just like, you should just make a Snapchat and talk to her, like just to get to know her. So I would know everything, like what she like, what she doesn't like before I approach her as myself. So that's right, what we okay. were talking for those so months. So you were just trying to get 
to know know her her. so that eventually would feel like you were ready as yourself Mm -hmm. to start trying to be friends. So, but why didn't that happen? It's been, you had three months. Well, I don't know. Like, I was just nervous. I was scared. What inspired you to finally come clean and why did you think this was the best way to do it? Janissa came up with this idea of Catfish, the show. We've been talking for a long time and we weren't going anywhere. So I wanted to try something new and I just agreed to it. That's heavy. Uh, I was so wrong. I don't know when she wrote into the show. I wasn't around her when she wrote in. I honestly thought like she was just playing about it. I didn't know she was for real gonna do it. And I really didn't want it to happen this way. I was trying to back out of it. So is that what was going on yesterday with that weird text from Patrick? Yes. I didn't know what to do. I asked Patrick if he could help come up with some way of getting me out of this. But like right now, like I'm scared, awkward. Like it's awkward, I'm nervous, I'm embarrassed. I'm basically coming out in front of everybody. Uh. How do you feel? Like I just feel, I feel betrayed really. It's like I live with her, like she's my roommate. So it's like, I wouldn't think, like you'd be the last person I would think that she was like catfishing me. I feel like you could have did it a different way. Now she doesn't feel comfortable in her own home, you know? Instagram DM came in. What? We got a a girl here named Chelsea from Virginia Beach who needs our help. Hey, Neva Max. My name is Chelsea. I'm 21 and I'm from Virginia Beach. I met this guy named Charles on POF over a year ago. He's nice, funny, and smart, and don't forget attractive. I almost forgot. We connected immediately and I've gained really strong feelings for him. I even thought about moving to Florida. He makes me happy when I'm sad and he makes me smile. But in spite of all these wonderful things about Charles, we only messaged and had one phone conversation. And recently, one of my friends brought something to my attention that I think he might be lying about. I need your help to meet him and get some answers from him. All right, well, she left her phone number. All right, I'm gonna FaceTime <laughs> Chelsea. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? We're good. We just saw your video message, and we're in Virginia Beach right now already. Oh, for real? Yeah, we just finished filming an episode here. Oh, that's cool. Do you live like in Virginia Beach proper or sort of somewhere kind of near Virginia Beach? Well, I actually stay with my best friend, Dominique, and her mom in the Pembroke area. So what's the deal? So you met Charles on Plenty of Fish? I met Charles on POF over a year ago. He lives in Orlando. He messaged me first, and we just kind of connected and vibed a little bit. And I started to, like, catch feelings for him. We only messaged most of the time. We had, like, one phone conversation in the beginning of our relationship. Have you tried to talk to him since then on the phone? I asked him could he call me, but he messaged me. And the number that I have, it doesn't work anymore. That's why I'm coming to you guys for a little help. And how old is Charles? He's 23. And what does he do? Well, he told me he was in the Navy. But I investigated a little and asked one of my Navy friends. And my friend told me he was wearing an Army uniform instead of a Navy uniform. That's a pretty basic mistake. Yes. Do you have a feeling that he's lying to you about other things? Um, I have a suspicion that maybe he's like married or like have a child and that he's just not trying to like kill me at the time. That would sort of be a deal breaker, wouldn't it? It would be. A kid, maybe not as much because I'm serious about him. I even thought about moving to Florida. Uh, so we should just come meet you because we're here. That's right. You got to you got to get better at not talking to people through your phone and, and meeting them in person. Right. Okay, I am tired of talking on the phone and messaging. You can come to my house if you would like. Sorry, we can't. We can't. Yeah, I can't make it. Sorry. <laughs> we're busy. Well, I've got we're we're stationed in uh, in yeah, Orlando. Oh, they're calling us now. All aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Text us your address and we'll head over. Bye, Chelsea. Bye. Oh, man. She talked to him once a year and a half ago on the phone. Probably wasn't even him. Right. Oh, let's go. All right. Let's let's help this little lady. What the is going on here? This is the weirdest. Who's that? Do you know this person? Is that who we're looking for? I can't see. Hold on. Did we stab? Is that him? That's Domo. 
Oh boy. Who's I don't that? know if that's who we're looking for, but I don't know why Dama would be is out here. Is that her? She's now looking in our direction. Let's find out what the story is. Um, Hello. What's going on? Before you get upset or anything, you know, I just want to tell you, Charles isn't real. I'm Charles. I had a crush on you for like almost two years now. Um, <clears throat> I really like you. I could say I love you. I do love you. But no, I don't want to seem crazy or anything. Why did you keep it going so long? Because I was scared. I felt more comfortable being portraying this guy that I know you like, is know is your type, and you reply back to him. And, you know, it That's just. Some um, I'm telling you now to get it off my chest. I want to see if we can move on to be more than friends. Just want to clarify. In the very beginning, you made the profile. You found photos of Jaleel. Do you know who, that guy? I, or I don't know him. Just a random guy. Yeah. Okay. So you made the Pulling Fish account. You searched. You what? You found her profile yeah, and you and messaged. I said, yeah. Okay, got it. And who who does know about this? Does anybody else know about uh, this? The only person I let know was Chad because right. I was like, I just need you to do this favor for me. He was like, I got you, sis. I had to make at least one call to make it seem like he was a person. Right. When you first made the Plenty Fish account, what was the plan? Did I you have? I was just like, you know, trying to get a better, more intimate feeling with her, like get closer, like more than a friend, like type of way, you know. Did you ever try to come clean, or did you have a plan on how that was I gonna go? I thought about it, but then like, I would always just get too scared to just be like, it's not what you think, and then I'll just never do it. It's like, I don't know, I was just scared. You're my best friend. I don't wanna lose you as a friend, but I felt like if I can get Charles to make you some type of way, then I can definitely make you feel some type of way too. This is like t too much. You shouldn't have did it this way. You came about it all wrong. I don't want to talk no more. Give us a second. My best friend betrayed me. She obviously cares about you a lot, has f f lots of feelings for you, some as friend, and uh, obviously more than that as well. So. She screwed up. I don't know why she thought she had to do this and for this long. Exactly, for this long. That's why I'm really mad, because you took it so far. Definitely not the best way to go about this. I wasn't trying to intend to hurt her or do anything bad to her. She deserves somebody that'll cheer her right, because all these guys that she messes with, they do nothing for her. I mean, when she's texting this guy all day, every day, she doesn't realize that she presses send and your phone buzzes? I usually have it on Do Not Disturb or something. I don't let it be loud. Do you guys sleep in different rooms? We sleep in the same bed. You sleep in the same bed? Yeah, we have a queen size bed. Is that like torture for you? Sleeping in the same bed with her every night? Yeah. I'm gonna have to leave for a couple of days cause I'm not, I need to get myself together. What do you want to do right now? I'm done talking. Oh, why don't we go over there? Okay. All right. There's a lot to sift through here. Obviously, immediately, there's your living situation. We've never had this happen where a person's talking to someone who they live with. They sleep in the same bed. Yes, share a bed. I didn't realize that. We are happy to get you a room at our hotel. And then, why don't we plan on meeting back up tomorrow? <sighs> All right, let's go. any consolation, he did the right thing. Oh my God. Candace, my mistakes could cost me my one true love. Dear Dave and Max, my name is Candace and I'm a 27 year old living in McConnellsburg, PA. A few months ago, I met a guy named Titus through a retail app I use for work. 
At first, he messaged me about an item I had listed for sale, but soon we started chatting about other things. I wanna be with you I've been going through a difficult time in my personal life, and Titus has been there to listen, encourage, and support me emotionally in a way that's been missing from my life for a while. Titus lives in a town over from me, but we've never met. Wow. We've never even talked over the oh phone. Oh my god. But wait a second, so what is, what is this all about? So this is where my story becomes complicated. I've been married for over seven years. Whoa. Whoa. And I have a beautiful four-year-old daughter. I love my family, but for the past year, it's been really hard for my husband and I to communicate. and I have an emotional connection. It feels like I'm betraying my husband and I'm ready to put a stop to this relationship and to come clean to everyone. But most importantly, I need to tell my husband the truth and face the consequences. Please help me make things right. Time. She hasn't talked to him on the phone. She hasn't met him, she hasn't kissed him, she hasn't slept right. with him. She's done nothing wrong. Right. She should just drop Titus, right. she could just, not write right. into the show, and live the rest of her life as if this thing didn't happen. Well, no, but I think what she's going through right now is she clearly wasn't able to fix things with her husband the way they were going. So she wanted someone to be intimate with. She didn't even know she wanted that. It happened kind of by accident. Right. So she feels like she's maybe emotionally cheated a little bit on her husband. She wants to come clean. Yeah. She doesn't know how to get out of this situation and she needs help and she feels like we're the right people to help her. All right, well, let's call her. Let's get her on the okay. horn. Okay, here we go. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, Candace. How's it going? Good. We just read your email. Yeah. And you're in a very interesting situation. It's a little complicated. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely complicated. You're married right now. Yes. And what's his name? Jamie. We met in army training and the military. And you have a four-year-old daughter. Yes, my daughter's name's Addison. Cute name. We call her Abby. So kind of explain to us things with your husband are maybe a little estranged at the moment. Uh, Jamie is a good person. It's the communication that we have issues with. He's just hard to talk to. He's been overseas or in the military, and he's very shut down about anything emotional. You know, my childhood was pretty rough. Quite a few traumatic experiences that I've been through, so I need that emotional outlet. But trying to communicate with my husband is like trying to talk to a wall. Since you guys have been married, have you been together for most of that time, or? Yes, we've never broken up. There's never been any kind of infidelity on either side. This is the first thing that I'm gonna have to confess that is gonna kill him. That's the biggest part I'm nervous about, is trying to tell him about it. I guess my big question is, why make a mountain out of this molehill? Well, Titus is giving me the emotional support they need. But he knows more about me than I know about him. I wanna know who I've told all of my secrets to. Well, I mean, look, if giving you the opportunity to meet Titus so that you can not wonder, well, who is this person is the best thing for you and your family, then, like, that's what we need to do. Thank you. Let us uh, pack our things and head out to you. We'll figure this out. What's up? Not too much, man. How about yourself? Neve. Jamie. Jamie. Candace's husband. All right. Um, wow. Yeah. Well, I still am not totally clear. Are you Titus? I am Titus, okay, yes. you, So the whole time Candace has been talking to Titus, she's been talking to you. Yes. OK. Uh, all right. Basically, I could tell there was something going on the past few months, even right before I even started as Titus. I felt like maybe it was me that she didn't want anymore. You know, maybe that was the issue. For me, you know, to not be able to pinpoint her problem, really got to me. Stupidly, I created Titus just to see if she would go and talk to someone else, and if it was, you know, me that she didn't want anymore. 
We hear stories like this all the time where people in relationships create fake profiles to see if they can get their partner to cheat on them. You know, there's some issues surrounding that that, like, I'm sure you've been struggling with. I was completely wrong and stupid that I would even have tried to set her up in that situation. A couple days into it, I said, you know, send me a provocative picture or whatever. No, I'm happily married. Uh, only my husband gets that. I was like, see, I am an idiot. I was going to let it go with that. Sure. Everything would be done. A couple days later, I come home. She was really upset and crying in the bedroom. You know, I'm like, what's going on, babe? Yeah. She hands me her phone. She's like, well, that, that's what's wrong. What was she showing you? It was a picture of her and mom. I left. Uh, I still had to take my daughter to school and some other stuff. Boom. I get a message for Titus. I'm thinking, this is confusing. You know, I was planning on completely just quitting with Titus. Well, then she opens right. up to Titus, and she explains why she's upset about her mom. She has a petrified feeling that she's going to die, like her mom did, mm -hmm. but she's going to do it to Addie. But she's never told me. So I had never known that that's what was bothering her. Right. In a weird way, even though you picked up on it, and maybe your initial instinct was, I wonder if she's unhappy with our relationship. What you discovered was that it's not that she's looking for someone else. Right. She's just looking for more of you. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of up <laughs> right. what you did. Right. I mean, I, I agree. I know 100 percent. I don't know. How, how did you like respond to her? We're usually always on our phone. Right. And we usually have them on vibrate because otherwise it'd be ding, ding, ding all day yeah. long. So I mean, yeah, if I'm sitting there on my phone and she's nearby, it doesn't throw up any flags. I think it means something. You know, maybe this will kind of just start to unlock things, and you can start to talk about things. Just, it's petrifying to well, she how to wanna, tell she, her. She didn't know how to tell you, but knew she had to also. Right. There is nothing else in this world that has ever mattered to me as anything like her. As you can imagine, Candace is very eager to figure out who she's been talking to. I take it you yes. want to, to talk to her about that. all this. Right. What's next? I mean. It sounds weird to say it, but I feel like I have to introduce you to your wife. <laughs> yeah. That's more nerve-wracking than anything, I feel, but this all right. It's crazy, yeah. All right, let's do it. Here they come. <sighs> That's my husband. Wow. That's Jamie. You OK? I don't know how to feel. I don't know what to say. I don't. I just want to know why. I just thought I knew there was something going on, and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. I did it to see if all the issues we were having was you just didn't want to be with me. I thought you, it was me you didn't you want. You thought that I would start talking to this guy as more than a friend? Why would you think I would do that? We've been married for seven years. I've never done that to you. Why would I do that now? <clears throat> I just didn't know what was wrong, and I could feel there was something wrong. What would you have done if I did, if I fed into that? I don't know. My thought process was panic. I'm losing you. I get insecure. You know, I get worried, but I don't pretend to be somebody else and try to trick you. I was stupid in the beginning. I didn't mean to hurt you or do any of that through it. I felt like I betrayed you by even doing that. The only reason this kept going was because I felt like that was what you needed. You kept telling Titus everything that was wrong, stuff that I didn't even know about. Like with your mom, I didn't understand how you felt towards your mom. And some things you never told me, but you told Titus. So the more I kept being Titus, the more I felt like I was helping you, learning how and what you were looking for. It'd be nice if we could have those kind of conversations in real life. I know, and that's what I realized, that I was never able to do that, and never took the time to understand why you felt those ways. I understand now. This is like the most you've ever said to me. It feels good to know that that connection was really you.
you know, in a sense, it's kind of a relief. Now I don't have to tell you about Titus because the most nervous thing I was freaking out about was telling you. I'm a little upset that you started it the way you did, but if you could be like supportive like you are through messages, I wouldn't need to seek out the closest thing that I can talk to. I don't want to talk to Titus. I want to talk to you. I'm sorry. I love you. This is so complicated. Dear Neve and awesome co host Love it. My name is Christina. I'm 21 and I live just outside of Detroit in Romulus. Seven months ago, I met an amazing girl named Faith while I was on IMVU. What is that? I don't know, we'll probably find out. I battled with anxiety issues and Faith made me feel so happy and secure. It was nice to believe that somebody cared about me and wanted me around. Don't you want that? Faith and I exchanged numbers and started texting. We also started speaking on the phone. I never meant for anything to happen between us, but as the months passed, my feelings grew and so did hers. These days, things have definitely spiced up. Love it. But I can't shake the feeling that something about Faith is wrong. Maybe it's because I haven't seen many photos of her. Maybe it's because she won't video chat. Maybe it's because we both live in Michigan ding, 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 and have ding. never met. What? I mean. These are obviously all red flags. I would know because I used to be a catfish. Whoa. All right, so she knows. My catfishing days are behind me, but I worry that they may have caught back up to me. So this wow. could be a little catfish karma. Faith makes me feel incredibly special. I could see having a great relationship with her, but I really need to know the truth now. Christina. Wow, a reformed catfish. They're in the same state. So hear a little bit more from Christina. Hey! Hi. And I see you have some dream catchers. Yes, I love dream catchers. We need to make a faith catcher. Cast a wide net. <laughs> nice, all right, so tell us about Faith. Faith is wonderful. Everything about her I find very fascinating. We want to go to school to be nurses. We're alike in a lot of ways. And how old is Faith? Faith is 22. And she lives in Michigan. Yes, and she lives on uh, Mackinac Island, about five hours away from me. I've heard of Mackinac Island. Yeah. You met on I am I am BU. I am BU. What is that? It is a virtual world where you have an avatar and it's like an actual person. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can go into different chat rooms and talk to people. Why am I here? I went into a lesbian bar chat room and we just started talking. It was like, I really like your personality. I want to get to know you more. So she gave me her number and we started texting. And then you started talking on the phone? Yeah. So you okay. know yeah. her voice. Yeah. So when did it go from maybe like a friendship into something a little more romantique? I actually told her I loved her first. I've invested my feelings into this person a lot. She was always, you know, there for me. She was always somebody that I could talk to. She gave me the attention that I wanted. But after New Year's, we were supposed to make plans to meet. She canceled on me and said that she had to study for school, that she was too busy for me. And what happens when you ask her to FaceTime or video chat? When I ask her to video chat, she tells me that her anxiety is really bad, that she can't go on the camera, and she doesn't have a camera on her phone. Well, that's a, like a lot of excuses. You know those moves. Those are, those are the yeah. cl classic catfish moves. Yeah, I know. I know their moves, but... <laughs> I guess it just... You gotta have faith. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have faith. Have faith. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to tell you one more thing. Sure. I have a girlfriend. She lives with me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys have a, an open relationship? No, we don't. Do they know about each other? Uh, only Sammy knows about faith. How long have you and Sammy been together? Almost two years. How does she feel about... Uh, she's really upset with me. She's really angry. Well, see, when I met Faith, me and Sammy were going through some stuff when I went on IMVU. Mm. When did you tell her? Um, I told her a few days ago. Oh, so she's oh. real, real fresh. Wow. So you told her you're writing to the show, AKA, I've got this girl I'm talking to on the internet. Yeah. 
So yeah. faith has been a big secret for you for the past seven months. Yeah, and I feel like I'm being torn between two people. Like, we don't choose who we have feelings for, you know, or when they come along. It's just about taking responsibility for what happens when they do. Right. All right, well, look, let's go to Michigan. Hopefully, we'll figure this out. Thank you both. Bye. Bye. Hey. So I was just talking with Sammy, and I, she just has some stuff she wants to talk about. I know why Faith didn't come around. Faith has been standing in front of you this whole time. I'm Faith. Are you kidding me? No. Why? I thought you were going to cheat on me. So I noticed that you were using IMVU, and I got on there. And I started talking to you. And as time went by, I couldn't let it go. <laughs> what the f man? I just got, like, kicked in my ribs. Is this you ending things? Oh, I don't want to end things. You don't want to end things? No. OK. I want a future with her. And trying to see if she was cheating on me was to see whether or not I have a future or not. But living two lives, I just I can't do it anymore. I can't watch her go through this anymore. <laughs> the one thing I'll say, and this doesn't take away any of the anger and the hurt, it's like, this wasn't someone with you. This wasn't someone getting their rocks off by pretending. Yeah. The basis of all of this was love and care. Yeah. I mean, I am glad that it's not like some random person. Take the time that you need, you know? Are you cold? <laughs> A little bit. Yeah. We can go inside. Okay. 